yes, Ken. This Adventure One is a proper enabling, exciting explorer. And in this hunt, 650B format, it's an absolute hoot as well. My name's Guy Kesterman. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for 25 years. And this is the Ken Adventure One Fazua powered gravel bike. And this is the second generation version of the uh, Ken Adventure One. So you've got some noticeable upgrades and improvements straight away. For a start, the controller for the Fazua motor, but that's now on the top tube for easy access. And they've also lowered this slightly curved top tube, so there's more standover clearance on smaller frame sizes. Back end still has a ton of room, as you can see. Uh, it's fixed with this forged chainstay yoke there. Then you've got unbraced stays there for even more tire room out the back. And this version makes the absolute most of that with these awesome Hunt carbon wheels as an upgrade. And that means it's running 650B tires, or to put it another way, 27.5 by 2.1s and that's actually Vittoria's Mezcal cross-country mountain bike tread but as you can see center ridge on the tire means it does a really really good job of rolling and while bigger volume tires don't necessarily mean more comfort unless you run them at really low pressures they definitely mean more grip and they mean more diversity in terms of the choice of rubber you can get in a 27.5 plus you can shrug off bigger blocks a lot more easily as well and these hunt carbon wheels are stiffer lighter and if you buy them with a complete bike they're a bargain too and i think the kind of bigger volume aesthetic suits the chunky look of the bike really well but even so you know They've done a really nice bit of cosmetic touch there. You know, they've blackened out the lower half of the down tube. So from a distance, the bike actually looks a lot slimmer. It actually looks like a conventional bike rather than an e-bike, as you can see. And the Fazua Evasion motor is just really unobtrusive in other ways. For a start, it's practically silent in operation. Uh, and the whole down tube section, all of this here, that's the battery, 252 watt hour and it's the motor as well. So all you've got in the base is a little transfer box. So you can remove that whole power and motor pack, which weighs 4.6 kilos, and that takes you down to a sub 12 kilo uh, conventional bike. And built up like this, before you put the cages on and the pedals, it's only 15.3 kilograms. And then the geometry, 71 degree head, 73 degree seat angle, kind of classic old school mountain bike geometry once you got these 56 mil tires in there then you can properly let it run and that's before you factor in the short stroke dropper that production bikes come with you know wherever you want to go whatever lies in your path this is up for it in terms of the rest of the spec, it's actually quite interesting. You've got Shimano GRX 600 shifters up the top. You've got Shimano GRX 810, top of the range gravel uh, rear mech with that optional clutch on there to really quiet down the transmission. Then you've got a KMC chain, a Praxis chain ring, and a Shimano cassette. And those wide range gears mean that even in the medium setting, Reasonably steep climbs are easy. And then, if you really want to crack on, just put it into rocket mode for maximum assistance. There is a bit of rattle and grind if it gets dirty, particularly from that practice chain set. And I did manage to pop the chain off uh, when I came out of uh, a stream and there was water all over it and I went for a gear that was a bit too high. <laughs> so maybe maybe consider you know you could fit a little chain protector on there if you wanted so that's something to bear in mind keep the transmission clean and you know keep an eye on it popping off in some extreme situations but i've been rattling down some severe bridleways i mean i've had this bike months and i've taken it to some proper rocky areas it's been absolutely fine and again zero problems with these bigger tires as well and they just give you a few more options 
when you're not quite sure what's in front of you on your right. And that's a pretty good indication of how weather resistant this Bazaar setup is as well. And it's properly equipped for those adventures as well. As you can see, room, in, room on this 54 centimeter medium frame for two full size bottles. And you've got full rack and mudguard mounts out of the back. Plus you've got these everything mounts, three bolt mounts on the carbon fiber forks as well. And that's a proper custom fork built for Ken just for this bike. And the places by like this lets you get to so much easier are just awesome <laughs> even locally so many gems that you wouldn't bother with on a full mountain bike but just perfect for a super capable gravel drop bar bike like this and even on the road just looking where you can get to all these back road possibilities that you know a bike like this inevitably opens up more of and while the onboard feedback offered by this Fazua motor is a little bit limited you know you've literally just got the power meter and the battery feedback there i actually like you know if you're more concerned about taking in beautiful views like this which is the whole point of this bike then maybe you don't want a whole load of digital display under your nose and again it really syncs with the silence and the kind of easy pickup of the motor it picks up about 50 rpm right through to 120 rpm it's a really gentle flowing surge you've got three different power levels up to 60 newton meters of torque and i'm certainly glad of that little bit of motor assist when the headwinds are stiff as this and while the on-bike of information and tuning is pretty sparse, there's all sorts of tuning potential, ride feedback, mapping, uh, all sorts of different modes that you can engage through this Fazua app. So loads of different options in terms of what you can control and what you can change and what you can view. So you can set that up to give you all sorts of stuff on there, as you can see. And, uh, you know, and that gives you full control over the power settings, battery life, etc., of the motor. So if you don't like the stock settings, it's really, really easy to tune to your custom preferences. And of course, those multiple hand positions, and that more efficient ergonomics, having your hands narrower, better than from an aero point of view, is why gravel bikes have become so popular. That's kind of the on-road, off-road, transition choice for people who really want to explore and having the motor and the battery means you can explore even further even faster which is the whole point of this Cairn Adventure 1 just putting that into a more manoeuvrable lighter and more affordable package than the full power Cairn and if you want more power, then there's a Cairn Brave, which comes with a full Shimano Steps motor system, which bigger battery and more power behind your pedaling. So there's two really, really good options on this Cairn range. And even with this Hunt carbon fiber wheel upgrade, which you get a significant discount if you get it complete with the bike, it's a really, really good value package for what you're getting. So in summary, if you're looking for a lightweight powered gravel bike, but still really versatile and whether you're adventuring or just heading into town or both but it's also a huge amount of pop and play fun then this Cairn Adventure 1 is really really well worth a look so massive thanks to the guys at Cairn for the extended loan on this bike thanks to Giro Cycling for sponsoring the channel thanks to PE's thanks to Crud as well for keeping my face clean and keeping the bike squeak free uh, thanks to my patron supporters who pledge on a monthly basis to uh, help the channel to help me fund these films and they get exclusive extended and behind the scenes edits as a thank you and also big thanks to uh, my patreon supporter ryan stockton who helped with the filming on this edit so if you really like what i'm doing please consider supporting me on patreon but anyway subscribe click for notifications give this a thumbs up like if you've liked it if you haven't liked it then tell me what i can do this is the first video i filmed in 4k so let me know if you think that makes a difference especially if you're viewing on a bigger screen but for now i'm guy kestevan on guy case tv having thoroughly enjoyed the ken adventure one for zua powered gravel bike <laughs>